Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here. Today we're going to take a look at five fun things to do in Zetsubo no Shima. The map has heaps to offer and introduces several new gameplay elements into the zombies mode. So, let's get started. If you've seen The Martian recently, I'm sure you'll agree that in certain situations, botany has its uses. This just so happens to be one of those times. On Zetsubo no Shima, there are buckets littered around the map, which you can use to scoop up samples of 115-infused H2O. This irradiated water will cause any seeds you plant, after a few rounds, to turn into a huge, leering plant that will attack anything and anyone that comes within its grasp. Do plants have a grasp? I don't know, but the proboscis on this thing is not to be trifled with. An all-time classic harking all the way back to 2009 is the one and only Pack-A-Punch Machine. Though its face has changed here and there over the years, in Zetsubo no Shima, it's back in its original glory, with its own unique map-themed Pack-A-Punch camo and mini quest required in order to unlock it. If you're having any issues reaching it, Fear not, I have guides on my channel explaining the process nice and clearly, but for those of you that have succeeded in draining the machine's enclosure and taking it for a spin, I'm sure you'll agree that it's just as useful as ever. The Zombies mode made a real splash when it was discovered at the end of the Call of Duty World at War campaign in 2008, and now it's your turn. Zetsubo no Shima contains several areas for you to get your feet wet, from a pleasant paddle in the spawn room, to some more serious deep sea diving elsewhere in search of long forgotten treasures. From secret codes to buildable pieces, the depths will yield plenty to keep you diving in again and again. Spiders are just horrible. I'm sure we're all agreed on that. In Zetsubo no Shima, not only do they scuttle their way into your path every four to five rounds or so, but they also stop you from doing things like buying perks or gobblegums. Now, I hear you cry. How on earth, Mr. Ruffle Waffles, are they doing that? As a spider zips its way across your desk? Well, quite simply, your arachnid friends have mastered the art of shotting web over anything useful in the map. And as such, they do so at every possible opportunity. It therefore falls to you. Brave upholder, of the samurai spirit to draw for your trusty blade and slice both spider and spider web back to from whence they came. Finally, Zetsubo no Shima contains a skull gun that can stop zombies in their tracks and then blow them up from the inside out. Do I need to say anything more? The skull of Nan Sepui is a little tricky to get your hands on, but again, I have a guide tailored to your needs in the description down below, it's on my channel. However, if you do put the time into unlocking it, you'll be justly rewarded. Not only can you mesmerize whole groups of undead freak bags if you need to make a quick getaway, but you also have the power to just make them all explode instead. What's more, it recharges, so you can keep using it throughout your match without worrying too much. Use it wisely, and the zombie scourge will be heading back to their graves in no time. That's five fun things to do on Zetsubo no Shima. There's plenty more as well. Obviously, the main easter egg is there for you to complete. You can take a ride in a thrasher, drink too much Fresh Widow's wine, throw up, you can do it all in the map. Hopefully, now that you've seen this, you'll leave a like. I'd much appreciate it. That would be fantastic. And let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, my guides are useful for you as well. Links in the description, like I said. And I'll see you very soon in another Zetsubo no Shima video. Bye-bye. <laughs>